Alrighty, let's check this out here. The sound. Maybe you should come visit. It cannot be as beautiful as this island. The people. We live Aloha. Aloha is how we treat ourselves. How we help others. How we know where we're supposed to be in this life. Maybe you should come visit. Okay. First thing, and this is super um, subjective. I'm not usually a massive fan of a CG character in front of a photograph. Just because it's a kind of a clash of styles. I think you can just have like a simple, um, you know, you can also potentially reframe this. I have this a bit bigger, but this is technically the composition E something. So if you put this back into like a, a 1080p, it's almost like we are expecting the granddaughter to be here over the shoulder, just given how this is framed and the eye line. You have to look at, he seems, you know, she seems pretty tall, maybe the way he looks. So you have to kind of decide where do you want someone in the foreground, which could totally work. If not, you could also have the whole thing staged more, more like this. So if I. If I drag out here, it could also be more like this. And then you can have the fingers continue that and you just put in some geometry here and some blue. And you can always have, you know, get a ramp shader for some colors there for the sky. And if you want something green, I think that would just kind of blend the whole thing uh, into more, one more cohesive look. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's going to be up to you. Do you want someone? It could also be someone standing there, you know, arms are here, arms maybe behind the back, but then you would have to do finger animation. But, you know, you have to kind of decide, is the head here, over the shoulder, like more of an over the shoulder? Is it more like that's the bottom part, legs, and that's how the eye line lines up? Or no one, right? So you just have to save an animation, and then maybe stage it more like that, and stuff like that. Kind of something to think about. I don't see anything in terms of here what the notes are. If you look at this, I think the main thing that I'm seeing is a change where it's obviously a bigger arm pose change with some gestures there, and then that's it. But generally, I feel like he is in this box and he's also moving towards camera. So if you move him forward right there, because it's straight at camera, you're not going to get that much of a a line change in terms of the line of action reversals in, in your in your spine or anything he feels fairly locked in this so to me before any lip sync notes where sometimes it's a bit chattery but i think i would wait on this it's more like a, a question then and again i'm going to go back into potentially staging in a bit more like this so if that's the center he's slightly off center and to me it's almost like She's off screen. I don't think you need to have her on screen. Personally, this could totally work. And he declines, right? If you look at, if you listen. We live Aloha. Aloha is how we treat ourselves. How we help others. How we know where we're supposed to be in this life. So that's that was the line. Um, he declines the visit. So it's like, it's like a, if he stands here, not standing, but if, if that's where he's located and he wants to stay there, could you do something potentially where he is more like this, knees up, arms around knees, that's my extent of my drawing. And then, and that could be, you know, if that's the pivot here, he could be, he could be here. And then when he talks to her, he opens up the chest. And says, listen, this is blah, blah, blah. That's what, what I'm doing here. And at the very end, he might go back. But then he's just leaning back. Shoulders up, arms back here. Like that. Where you have multiple. Let me change this here. All right. He starts in this. Whatever. Knees up. Arms around the knees. <laughs> Not that he's like nervous or anything, just kind of like more like, nah, I'm, I'm just, you know, knees up. I'm just sitting there. That's where he starts and he's totally fine. He's kind of more relaxed. Then you go to what you have now, 
which is opening up the chest because he wants to talk to her and address her and be open to her. And that's why I kind of visually open up the chest to the other person, blah, blah, blah. And then at the very end, which I already did in yellow here, you go back into, I have now turned my myself away from you because I'm kind of done with this conversation, but I'm still leaning towards you. You know what I mean? So you have that change from, from, from here to back here and fully relax with a nice C curve like this. And you can still be like three quarter talking to her in a way. You know what I mean? Like you could still have the head like this while the shoulders are up here and the character is just kind of relaxed. That's my knee. <laughs> and then he just still talks like this. So to me, it feels like we could give us a bit more, um, it's kind of a variety in the posing. I think this is kind of, you're sticking to one and then it's the usual arm out while talking. This is a bit straight and curved too in those fingers. I'm not super sure about these. Um, that's my biggest thing. Like, I like this, and I think to me, this could be the one I could pose in the middle. Maybe you should come visit. It cannot be as beautiful as this island. People. We live on You know, like, this could be where. What if he is. It might be too closed off what I mentioned. I'm thinking out loud here where, you know, his arms are around his knees, but it could be something where it's slightly more closed off. And then the first thing he does is when he does turn and look at her, it's kind of like a turn and then adjustment with his arm into this position. So we don't, we don't have to linger in this, you know, closed off position there, but he could be, he could be like this and it's more like, a, a seated cross leg thing that's a bit more comfortable. Maybe he's holding on to something or I don't know, whatever he's doing, right? Then he moves over into this pose. And it's almost like maybe during this pause, then, then he could change and then get into a further leaning back position. And then it's where it's supposed to be. Could be him looking out to the horizon in this life. In this life, and then he can always look back into into this. You know what I mean? Imagine he says in this life, but he's a bit more profile doing this, and then at the end when he says that last line, in this life, in this life could just be that. Where did I have it here? not this far like here i like this in this life in this life you know what I mean? like that could be an end so anyway i think i'm gonna leave it at that i know it's more broader comments but i just want to see also what you think to me it just feels very locked into this pose and then it's more of a general arm out type of thing and that's it and i think we could we could tell a broader story in terms of changes of poses throughout but you know maybe you want to do something where what if he is more squatting you know holding on to something and then he has this whole body mechanics of sitting down and then leaning over where like the beginning is a bit more busy it's almost like he wants to explain something it's almost like his busyness and at the end the calmness of the pose where he just lingers in one pose shows the calmness it's kind of reflecting the audio where or the dialogue where he goes, yeah, and that's where I need to be. Like, he finds peace in the audio by the words, and also peace in terms of the poses get less and less active, and he's more at peace. Again, could be like this, or could be like this, where he's maybe his frame a bit more like that, legs continue, and so on. So I think I would think in those terms, in terms of opening up the shot and giving us some pose variety. Because um, if, it's, if it's just that, then you might as well do something like this. It cannot be as beautiful as this island, the people. You know what I mean? Because then we have some changes, then we have an implied gesture, maybe not something where the thumb just slightly comes in, we just would hide this, but it's an implied gesture and we can see movements in the shoulder and the upper arm so that it's not so still. And then it's all about the face. And then you have to maybe adjust the camera a little bit so that he is more in the thirds. And then it just becomes more like a facial 
uh, shot. But you mentioned that you, you don't have that much experience with facial animation. That's why I'm going, well, then let's just stay with this and go broader with, with body language storytelling versus lip sync. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Leave it at that. Let me know what you think. Questions, concerns, anything. I'm always open. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.